I like to sort of think more texturally at the beginning. I just sort of like to spend some time digging for more raw material. Hey, this is James McAllister. I'm a composer and I'm here at my studio today with Output checking out Aura for Arcade. This is the, the loop that really got me started in Arcade, uh, Aura. It's, it's very big sounding, but at the same time, there isn't like a strong major third or a strong minor third thing to it. So it, it feels a little more open for, um, for composing on top of which is nice when you're starting something as a bed because you don't want to necessarily be locked into like, this is, this is that tonality. I tried a few different ones of these that were cool. This one here. And just like sat with it for a minute and just was like, well, where, where does this feel like it should go tempo wise? That, that felt like the right kind of, right kind of movement for it. it th at this point in the piece there, there was no other there were no other there was no other rhythm so this pulse you know it could be it could be a quarter note it could be a triplet I, I like the, mis the mystery of it and um, then to kind of make it mo more mysterious I opened up some echo boy I don't know why I chose a 16th note but it just felt felt right those two things sort of started the piece I just like the sort of that kind of polyrhythmic approach to things. So this is the the dig attacked. So that's that. And I think there this is pitched down quite a bit here. This one. Yeah. This this is the original. And then I just was like, let's make that a super deep kick drum. All the way down. Wait, see. Yeah, so this is kind of when it when it drops in. Now the bass kind of needed to happen, so I sort of went went quickly for just a, an ascending bass line. I decided to make the notes move in uh, six beat in intervals again to kind of further the sort of cyclical kind of phasey movement of the track, which sounds like this. So that's, that was that. Again, trying to kind of make the movement a little bit more mysterious, but you feel like it's, it's going somewhere, but it's also hopefully not pre predictable. The OP-1 has a great sequencer. It's called Endless, and it's essentially like a, a step sequencer. So you come up with kind of a harmonic shape notes that work in the key or whatever. Usually I try to pick an odd number, so I think I think this one was maybe 30, 30 steps or something. And that triggers, in, in this case, triggered the Model D. So, got the delay going in time. So once I had the drums happening and the rhythmic Moog, thing from the OP and the drone and the bass, then I obviously I needed to kind of carve out an arrangement to some degree. I kind of arbitrarily put these put these mar markers in my timeline here and then, you know, worked, sort of worked around those. One process that I like doing is kind of getting stuff all, kind of 75% there, quote unquote, on a track and then going back in and saying, well, actually this could be completely deconstructed. Let's try the uh, the first, the initial instance of Arcade here. I'd probably go for some like batch processing, you know, because again, I want to sort of be surprised. At this stage, I'm still kind of exploring. So I'm going from the, the passive filter, again, through the space, the chorus echo. Again, that's the original loop from the patch in, in Aura that is now kind of re-filtered, re re-echoed. And it, it's always a fun experiment to sort of just keep folding the song in, in, over on itself in, in that way. Um, 
And I think that's how you, uh, once you get a few, a few cycles into that, you, get, you sort of get to this almost unrecognizable place, or ideally that's, that's, what I, that's when it's the most fun. Let's try the, the other one here. This thing always has this kind of odd underwater sound to it. That's really nice. Again, you know, it's like this is the original thing out through the filter, back into the into the plug-in, and then I'll filter it again. That's cool. It's an investment of time to go through all of these, especially with all of this hardware. You kind of, you kind of have to sit here and in real time try stuff. Honestly, a lot of processing I would do out here, you could kind of also do in, in the plugin, which is cool. Thanks for listening today. I'm going to continue working on that track and uh, continue those, those processes, and we'll see you later.